Rex is going to return the favor, do a slide job on Moffat. Moffat closes the door, or uh, Gregson closes the door, but Moffat comes right back up side by side again. The battle for the lead continues here at Homestead. And this is with 36 laps to go. His father, Dick, who can't bear to watch right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was looking for a little help from a higher calling, I think, and uh, certainly confident, but uh, has been an instrumental part in Brett's career, getting him started and helping him get to NASCAR. Brett Moffitt coming to the white flag and takes it. One lap remaining for Brett Moffitt. Moffitt says the championship won't make a difference in regards to how he is as a driver. Just winning a championship doesn't make him a better driver or not winning the championship make him less of a driver. But he said, I want that championship for the validation in the record book that someone can look at all time and see the name Brett Moffitt as NASCAR champion. And he is on his way. Brett Moffitt is going to do it and win the championship. Brett Moffitt is a NASCAR champion. Right about now. Nice work, Scotty. Thank you, Chris. The crew chief, Scott Zipidelli, is with Alan. Hugs all around in the 16 pit for crew chief Scott Zipidelli. You told us before the race you were the favorite. How does it feel to make it happen? I mean, we're just so excited. Uh, I'm just so proud of this whole organization. Everybody on this team deserves this. This is a total team effort um, at HRE Enterprises. And we couldn't have done it without Toyota TRD support. They've stuck behind us. And, and the farther along we got in the season, the, the better we did. They kept they kept helping us out. And, uh, and this is just a team, team sport. And that's how I treated it. And these guys just did an awesome job. How do you explain this team? It's small, it's underfunded, it's not supposed to be winning championships, and it did. How do you explain that? You know, we don't have what some of these other teams have, um, budget-wise, uh, but what we do have is, is people. We've got the best people, and they all have heart, and they, I mean, this is it. This, Brett Moffitt, he's did an amazing job all year. I'm so proud of him, and uh, man, I just hope somebody will come on board and keep this thing rolling. I'd, I'd, I'd hate to not to come back next year and try to win a championship with this kid. Congratulations. Go celebrate with your driver. <laughs> That's awesome. You just can see how much it means to Scott. And Scott Zipidelli, very understated. And, but you know the emotion that he's experiencing and the joy within his heart to have been the architect of the championship team. Guys, he's already got a beer in his hand. Brett Moffitt, race winner, your 2018 champion. Brett, you're already taking a nice cold drink. What was that last run like? We barely heard from you on the radio at all, but we could see it in your eyes. What was that last run like for you? Uh, that was the longest 20, 30 laps of my life, but uh, man, I'm glad we could get to the white flag there without a caution and have clean sailing. We had a great Toyota Tundra all day. Um, I just got to thank Ison and, and Shiggy Atori, TRD, all, everybody at TRD and how hard they worked for us this last month. Um, they've, they've given us everything possible to make these things fast. And tonight we were able to win the race and win the championship. So, How do you explain all this? This team, underfunded, small team, continue to win races and now a championship. How do you explain that as a driver? It's unreal. Um, you know, we all know the story by now where we didn't know if we were going to race the full year. I didn't know if I was going to have the opportunity to compete for a championship even after we got our first win. And everyone pulled together hard here. Um, you know, back at Chicago, we didn't know if we were going to make it to the racetrack. And Marcus with Freight Auction stepped up and got us there. And we've had many partners like that and I racing all year long that came in at clutch moments and got us to the racetrack when we needed to. We just saw the battle with Noah Gregson. That was the pivotal moment in this race. You had him, you backed off, then you went up and got him again. How did that happen? Um, I just got the tires a little too hot when I was trying to get inside of him the first time. I didn't probably commit hard enough to the move. And then I kind of let him cool down. I ran the top, tried to get some momentum. and. He was kind of backing up, and we, we could still run the bottom really well, which is unusual for Homestead, but I'll take it. Keeping that mustache now, is that the lucky mustache? I don't know. I think it's going its own way. <laughs> That's a championship mustache.